All right, so The Needle and the Damage Done by Neil Young. This is from his 1971 album, Harvest, which to me is his best album. I think it's got all the signature Neil Young songs that he'll be remembered for, Heart of Gold, Old Man, and this one, of course. So let's get right into it. Uh, there's a lot of tricky picking in this, and it's a very nuanced part. Now, Neil, you know, will, he'll never play it the same way twice. And he doesn't have to because, you know, he's the artist, right? And he's just playing it the way he feels it on any given night. But my goal in this lesson was to transcribe it as close to the original recording, the live recording. Um, it was actually recorded in, at UCLA. So I'm trying to get that, you know, note for note as, as best I can. Right? It's just really my opinion, okay? Because there's some tricky stuff going on there. So the left hand is pretty simple. We start in the key of D, so we've got a D chord, and then we're going to take that middle finger off. We're going to go to A3. We've got that chord. I'm not even going to get into the names of these chords because really the whole thing is. It's just a D chord basically, you know, in essence, with that descending bass. Alright, so there, there, now here, leaving that third finger in the same spot the whole time. Make sure you don't take that finger off on that second chord. Yeah. That open G is not there. It's it's definitely hold that uh, G2, the A note. All right, and then of course the next chord is just a straight C. This is where we do the lick. Over that in a minute. And then it's an F, and then we've got sus4 and I like to do it that way middle third little finger there and then e. and we've got that lick right which I will also go over and then we're back and that's it that's it for the chords so the picking it's kind of like a just a down up right on the D string and then up on the high strings either the, the high E or that's the first section so really slowly So, taking the middle finger off, and then the B string, B string, E string, B string, and then back to the E string while we change, again here. Rather than explaining every <laughs> single move, it's I think it's better if I just do it slowly and you just watch what I'm doing. That's that first one is on the D note on the B string. Now we're going to get into this uh, next section. So coming into it, we're going to go. It's another upstroke, right? Now in my demo, I think I kind of did it on the open B there. But I think, you know, listening back, I think Neil is actually hitting the open E and the open B. You know, that's to kind of, you know, have something sounding while we get to the C chord. Now we're going to hit the C chord and we're going to hit the low note on the A string and we're going to upstroke on the B string and we're going to do this lick. Okay, 
so the first up stroke is on the B string and the rest are on the E string. And notice I'm hammering those two. So good, that's such a strong lick. So from here, and then we're gonna go to this um, E sus4, and we're gonna go. So we're gonna start on that G string, we're gonna hit the E string. We're basically going that's what we're doing but we've got those upstrokes in between so we'll G string E string the rest is going to be off the B string the first one off the E So from here, all right. So to me, that's really important. And uh, the second time he does a little bit different, but you know, at the beginning of the song, before the singing starts, I think it's important to get that exactly right. So let's take that whole thing so far. Slowly. to the singing. So the singing is just going to go like this. It's much more simple. Same chords. And that high E on the transitions. A3 every time. Into an F. And then strumming. So bum, bum, right? The E string, the low E, like every other beat. And then we've got this lick. I just love that. So, down, up, we're hammering on, A2, and we're going to slide up on to uh, D4, and when we go back down, we're going to hit that G, which is giving us actually an E minor, right, which, one of the reasons I really like that leg. Right, and then we're back in second cycle of the verse. So from the singing, the second time through the bass is a little bit different so we've got that little pattern in there now 
you know, this is really specific to this version. This may be the only version where he did this. Who knows, right? Because he does it different all the time. But this is what he does on that live version on the Harvest album. The rest of the same. And now we've got the little sort of guitar break, and that's going to go like this. All right, so we're... We've definitely got that really prominent open A to C. And the transitions on those are not the high E, it's just on the B string. Now that's exactly the same as before. Except this bit is a little different. Instead of going, he's going. From that guitar break part, two cycles are just the straight like the first cycle and then the very last one is going to go like this all right so So that's pretty well it for this one. I hope you get something out of it. I hope you enjoy playing it. For me, you know, it's definitely worth the time to get it right. There's a lot of nuance in the right hand in the picking and the difference between getting it sort of almost close and getting it right on the money is huge. Uh, not only for the way the song will come across if you're going to perform it, but it'll just make you a better guitar player. Right? Your technique will improve and um, it'll just make you a better musician overall. All right, like I say, I hope you get something out of it. I hope you enjoy playing it, and we'll talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.